Hey guys, what's going on? It's April here. First off, I wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers that I've gotten. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And shout out to one of my subscribers for requesting this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, leave something to let me know. But enough of that. Today we're going to talk about how to find the right sensitivity for you in this game, Modern Warfare, and pretty much any other FPS that you would play. So if you have ever had any trouble figuring out what speed you need to be going at, whether your game feels too fast or too slow or anything like that, if you have any confusion, allow me to clear it up for you. In this video, I have a lot of helpful stuff in this and a good way to find your own sensitivity, not just by looking at mine. So stick around and let's get right into it. So first things first, let's just get into it and start talking about each one and what it's going to affect. First is going to be your typical horizontal stick sensitivity, which basically just means how quickly you're looking from left to right. The best tip that I can honestly give you for this is to start at the sensitivity you feel most comfortable with and then tweak it and make adjustments as you notice how things are going. You have to really pay attention to see, okay, I'm going way too far this way, way too far that way or I'm not moving quick enough. Next is going to be your vertical sensitivity, which is going to be how quickly you look up and down. And this one is going to be more of a play by eyesight, pretty much, not by ear, but by eyesight. That way you can know if you're, okay, I'm, I'm trying to move up to move a headshot, but it's always going above their head instead. Then you know that it's moving a little bit too quickly and you're going to want to turn that down as well. ADS multipliers are really kind of where we get into something a little bit deeper here. And the first one is going to be the low zoom. So any scope that is less than 3.25 zoom is going to be this low zoom scope that you have. And each one of those should tell you if it's over the 3.25 or if it's below whenever you're looking at the scope attachments. These are something again that once you really get into it you're gonna notice if it's going too far or not far enough. You're, you'll start to notice that once you start paying attention and you can adjust it little by little as you're going through. Next you have your aim response curve type which is going to be these three options that you see on screen right now. The one I'm actually gonna switch mine to is linear. I would say that one is typically um, what we're used to in Call of Duty. Standard gives you a little bit of a curve to it and dynamic. I, I haven't even honestly tried it but it's reverse and unless you're really getting into it and you're kind of you know delving deeper and you're way advanced into it you, you'll probably know if that one's for you but it, it's not for me so we're gonna stay away from that one right now especially if you're just trying to find your sensitivity next is going to be aim assist now standards is the one that we've seen in all the other call of duties and everything like that disabled is obviously you will have no aim assist whatsoever precision there is going to be whenever you're strafing across a player it's going to be significantly slower going across them but it really really helps if you're accurate when you do that elsewise it's going to take you that much more time to actually aim at them and and be on them whenever you're aiming. Now that we've touched briefly on what each of these things kind of do and aspect to your sensitivity, we're gonna set up a custom game to find our own sensitivity. We're gonna have it with six enemy bots on recruit so that it's less difficult for you. You can even add in teammates if you want to. Just keep it regular team deathmatch. Go ahead and take that score limit, put it at whatever you want if you just wanna be in there for a while practicing on it. I always put mine on limited because whenever I feel like I'm done with it, then I can just end the game anyway. Put the match start time down to five seconds so that it's quickly getting you in. You don't want to do with all that extra infill and everything like that whenever you are in a private match. I'm going to stick with Hack Me Yard on this just simply because I, I know the map, I like the map, and it's a good one to do it on for me. So let's go ahead and hop into this private match just to see what we can get into here. Keep in mind as well when you're doing these sensitivities that you're going to need to remember the simple fact that day by day, if your reaction time is slowed down, you might need to lower it for that day or someday you might just be really on point and need to increase your sensitivity. It does vary as well. So whenever we get in here and we're going to these guys, you don't want to be aiming down your sights at all. You want to run up on them and you want to see how well you can track them without aiming down the sights. And see, mine was a little bit off, so I'm actually going to lower mine a little bit because it was a little bit too fast for me to keep track of that person while not aiming down the sights. You want to be where you can track them no matter what while you're in hip fire. If you can see that's a little bit better, I'm able to keep on them. Even though I died, it's just because I'm not firing my gun at all. You want to make it to where when you're not even aiming down sights, you can keep track of them super well. See how I was able to do that right there? That's one key tip for it. So now we're going to get into aim down sight speed. So I'm going to change my aim down sight speed to 125. And then we're going to look at the differences in it. See how quick that is? Now that we've looked at how quick it is, let's slow it down a little bit because that may be too fast for you. If you see that whenever you're aiming down sights, you're just kind of going all over the place if you're trying to correct where you're aimed at, then you see that there's a problem there. So let's lower it a little bit here. That was really easy to control actually. So I know that I'm liking this one, so I'm probably gonna stick with this right here. And you see there's no delay to where I'm aiming from when I aim down sights, that sway 
will definitely have an effect if you keep it on standard. But now I'm aimed directly to where I'm looking. So I highly recommend doing that because linear, again, is what we're used to in Call of Duties. I think I've actually found a better sensitivity for me right now, so I'm gonna stick with this one to be honest. Remember, the main idea of this is to go in and not aim down sights and just try to follow the characters around. And if you want, you can put it on a map like Speedball, one of the 2v2 maps, and go in and just put in one bot on the opposite team so that you only have one person to focus on. You just gotta be sure that whenever you're not aiming down sights that you're able to track them. If it's too fast, then you need to slow it down. Always start at a lower one and raise it or you can also put the sensitivity really high and work your way down. Either way works, but you just have to be sure you get to the one where you're the most comfortable at. It's all about this sensitivity that works for you. There are some things that go along with sensitivity, some more tips I have for you guys, so I'm actually gonna make a different video on that. More advanced tips like strafing and, you know, movement, more in depth on the movement, I should say. That pretty much shows what I need to show, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the match here. So hopefully me breaking down all the different things that go into the sensitivity and showing you how I personally find mine will help you guys out a lot. If there are any other questions, please drop the comments below and I will respond to you guys as soon as I possibly can. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. If that helped you at all, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know. If there's anything else that you guys do to help find your sensitivity when you play, be sure to let me know. Also drop down below whatever your sensitivity you use. And if you made it this far and this video helped you out whatsoever, please consider subscribing. I make a ton of tips and tricks videos. I've just started doing it recently, but you will see quite a few more. I already have quite a bit more lined up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications because YouTube likes to hide my content. I post videos at least twice a week. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.